So hi guys, today I'm not on full, full screen mode, uh, but in this recording of this window. Anyways, uh, what I wanted to do is go into the career tab, and since I have reset all my skill points, I have to set up the new um, yeah skill skill points over here. Um, anyways, so I prepared this screenshot here which is from my Edic Sniper account and I'm quite satisfied with that one. So I might, not I might, I will now go for the exact same skills. Exception is um, you know, the one where you can, in the Sniper tree, where you can see what gun you were hit. That was really uh, nonsense. But well, I'm very satisfied with what I got so far and that's what I'm doing now. The only thing that I might be missing then in the future is the Armor points. The armor points, I think I will not get them. Anyways, so going for the pistol accuracy thing. I mean, you know, the problem is I, I still doubt, of course, as everybody is doubting if he builds something, but getting this um, strong pistol is very helpful. And yeah, I want actually it's easier to play in two accounts with the same um, stuff because when you train like a couple of weeks, like I did now on Sniper. You have a totally different playstyle than assault, so for me it makes really more, more sense to to do that, which means I go down until this one. So we get the pistol recoil, we get the plus ten for the reload speed. This is not for us, and we got minus fifteen on the recoil, and we got plus ten for the pistol damage, and that is really heavy. So that makes it really strong. This one maybe for later. Let's see what what is left. I didn't check the the calculator by the way. So for me this is also new. So this one I need to go down to this one. So we got this. We got weapon fast switch, and this is the support icons. It's mostly quite helpful if the enemies throw a mortar uh, and so on. And I see where they are. So it helped me a couple of times already, so it's quite valuable, at least for me, for my playing style. Okay, so I guess we have everything. This one, ah, not that important. So it looks the same for me. Very good. Let's go for the assault one. Here, click into the next screenshot, assault. So those two. Okay, first of all, the reload speed thing. Then we go for the 5 meters extra, and now we get the penetration. The penetration is awesome, as, as at least the guys on the forum said that. <laughs> so recoil, not that important, health points not important, this is nonsense. Okay, that's it, destroyer mode. Here we go for this one. Okay, first of all, minus 3 points in recoil. And then the reduced damage by explosives. The we survive some grenades and one grenade in the tree. And then we have ah this additional magazine here on the right. So reload speed and then here plus two magazines. Lovely. And now it's exactly the same, I would say. Perfect. Sniper. Sniper. So we need this one and then we go here, here and this way. Okay. So accuracy of main weapon, lovely. Increased accuracy, and yeah, that's just that you have to take. Accuracy is very nice. And here we go, aim to side speed. That is really helpful thing when aiming. So now those two we don't need. This um, enemy icon is nonsense. Nine points to accuracy of main weapon is very helpful. Um, and this is even more helpful because that shows you where you're hit from and that helped me also already a couple of times and this is bullshit, uh, <clears throat> this is not so good I want to say um, I don't need to know the weapon I'm hit from it's not that important so yeah let's do the accuracy thing and now it should look the same yes cool go for the gunsmith so now it gets interesting because here I think I have spent zero Exactly. The good message is now, as I see just now, because I was not using contract was calculator, as I said, 
I have 24 skill points left and I can go maybe for the armor. Wait, I have to get 6 here and then it's 18. So then it's 14. Then it's 9. And then it's 3 left. So I can go down to the armor to get... Yeah, and then it's 4 skill points missing for that one. So guys, that's your my question to you. Should I spend the last 24 skill points to get armor up to 60? 6, 5, 11, 15, 21. Is, is this the way I should go now? Yes or no? And, or maybe should I take the 10 health points? This is the other option. So that's the question I have to you now and you can answer it in the video comments. So in advance, thanks a lot for your advice. I'm quite curious what you're saying.